Around 15 years ago when I didn't have a clue about photography and I needed something to edit my photos, I came across this software, which is Photoscape. As the title suggests guys, I'm looking at this software today. I remember it back in the day, around about 20, 2010 I think it was, when I first started doing photography with a camera. And I came across this software, it used to be called Photoscape, it's now called Photoscape X and it's free and it's downloadable and you can use it on your on your laptop, your computer, your Mac and you don't have to log in or do any other BS that a lot of the other ones make you do. Anyway, what's it offer? Right, okay, so we've got the this interface here which is the viewer, so all your, you know, your photo files, your folders, etc. They are all viewable in this section here and then you can click on them individually if you want have a look at it you know and then zoom in blah 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 like you can on other software but like i said i'm just looking at this because it is free to edit with this software now there is a paid version i've just reached out to them today to see if they can unlock it for me and then we can show you some of the other features in another video but for today we're looking at the free version so if you're new to photography etc this software would be definitely ideal for you for what it can do for you anyway so there we go we can look at the photos individually and i love how it just slides back into place look at that so we're looking at that we finish looking back into place okay so like i said this is the the viewing section of the software all your um photos can be viewed from in here it does read raw files as well so if we go to a folder that's got raw files in there these are all raw files it can read them no problem okay so then we've got the editor which is this section here we'll go into that into a little bit more We've got some other things we can do here, like cut out, um, batch. Uh, what else have we got? Combine, so we can combine images and make them into like, you know, little collages, etc. We can create GIFs as well. I mean, there's a lot of things in here you don't get in other packages. Um, and then we've got the print section here. Print them to whatever size you want, as long as you've got a printer installed. Um, I can go up to A3, I think, on this printer. So, yeah, you know, we just click on that and then print your pictures. We've got, what else have we got? We've got screen capture. Screen, screen, screen capture built into this software as well. And the final part of the puzzle is the, uh, the pro version, which you can unlock. Now, it does say no ads, but I don't see any ads when I'm using it. Maybe that little ad down there is what they're talking about, but... To pay for the pro software, it's $39.99, which I think is pretty reasonable for all the things you can do with it. But we will go into the editor and have a quick look at that. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So what can we do in here? We can add, you know, vibrant clarity, blah, blah, blah. If we're doing um, Landscapes, we can have them HDR. Then we've got all these presets to add color into your pictures, you know. There's there's all sorts, but then there's some of them you've got to pay for. But again, like I said, we're just start talking about starting off with photography here. And the things you can do, we can add light leaks if we want. It's, you know, there's a lot of features and it's been well thought out in my opinion. And then we've got frames as well if you want to add a little border to your picture there's all these frames you can use as well what else have we got here shapes but yeah you know it's oh we're gonna insert things here what can we insert text if you want to add text to the image now the only thing it hasn't got is the ability to do layers but we can mask out the um i'm going to show you in another video this is just a quick one um we can mask out the subject and then put the text behind it's a little bit more tricky in this software but it is doable but like i said we are just talking about software here that is for someone just starting out maybe branching into photography from the phone they've just got a little cheap camera like i did back in the day and then they want something to be able to edit the raw files which is free and you don't have to like i said you one of the main selling points i think is you just download it to your computer 
your Mac, etc. Uh, you don't have to log in, give any details, email addresses, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's no watermarks when you export anything. It's just totally free. And then you can pay for the extra filters and extra bits if you want to go for the pro version. Magnifier, what have we got here? <laughs> So we can magnify parts of the image. Oh, it's pretty good. I mean, some of these things, I haven't used this software for ages, but just say you were a uh, makeup artist and you wanted to highlight part of the face. There we go, look at that. That is cool. Um, what else have we got here? Filters, mosaic. Oh, we can add blur to it. So if we want to blur out a face, we could do and it's it's endless all i can say is i'm just giving my quick review of it it's a definite win but you need to go and download it yourself to try it out what else have we got here so some of the other tools we've got here we've got um we're going to try and do a quick spot healing here let me just get that down to size and it's gone boom just like that you do really need to try this yourself if you're, um, like I said, new to photography. Oh, will it do that? No. Let me just increase the brush size. Again, I'm just doing it quick here, but if you do concentrate and um, do it properly, you're going to get some good results. Now we can do a sharpen as well. We can add we can sharpen just different places if we want to. What else have we got in here? Um, paint bucket, scatter, whatever that is. Soften the skin. But yeah, I mean, it's... Let's have a quick go. There we go. We just soften that skin. I'm just doing it quickly, like I said, to show you what we can do. And then we can go with the strength. But there's loads of things in here that they give you for free. And like I said, you don't have to give any details. Anything, anything like that. Let me just go to this one here. You just can drag your files in and edit them. We've got some blemishes on here. We've got crop. So, yeah, I would suggest you go and try this yourself. If you're a new photographer... Anyone who's a pro, semi-pro, whatever, you've been doing it for a while, you're not going to be interested in this software. But for somebody just starting out and they need something free to get editing, it's definitely a win. And like I said, I've just reached out to them. I sent, sent them an email today. Let's see if we can get the pro version and see what that can offer us as well. And um, yeah, we'll do another video if they reach back out to me and say, yes, we would like to collab. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.